Hi guys, it's Belinda. It is October the 29th, and I want to make a really short video, I guess a video response to my good friend on here, um, Khalif, uh, Fat Guy Skin Wallet. I watched your video last night, um, and I, I was uh, impressed with your passion about what you, the subject was, and I agree with you on most of what you said, but actually probably all of what you said. And I just happened to have an issue, I had an issue a couple of days ago with um, a YouTube member that I've been talking to for well over a year. And we're friends on Facebook as well. And um, she usually doesn't make rude comments to me, but she made some rude comments to me about my journey. Um, I had uh, been sick this past week, and and I didn't feel like cooking. I didn't feel like prepping any meals. I felt like eating all the comfort food that I wanted. I had uh, Rocky Road ice cream. I had pizza. I had soda. I had what I wanted to have. It was my journey, and I chose to do it that way because I just didn't feel good. I felt like crap. And this person proceeded to comment on my Facebook saying that... Uh, that I had given up, I don't give a F, and that go ahead and gain uh, another 100 pounds that she didn't care. And for me to uh, basically stop whining about um, my journey because I but put on weight, and that's not what I was doing. I went on to uh, Facebook and made a comment that um, I don't care if I gain 10 pounds this week. That's because I was sick. And I, put a, I believe if I'm not mistaken, I put an LOL at the end of it. You know? I think most people who follow me, who know me, know that, um, especially after I got my Keeping It Real bracelet from Rob Reno, that I'm pretty honest. I, I post pizza. If I have pizza, I post pizza. If I have soda, I post soda. Because I don't want a lot of y'all, and I don't want a lot of myself. Because it's very important to be as honest with yourself on this journey as you can, because it doesn't do you any good to lie or to hide things from yourself. Or to other people on here because I do make these videos for myself but I also make them to hold myself accountable like you were talking about Clay and uh, I don't mind if other people I you know I'm holding you guys accountable to make me accountable but there's a wrong way and there's a right way to go about talking to somebody about their uh, journey any kind of journey but in particularly you know weight loss people whether it's surgery or not you know we're a special breed you know our feelings can get hurt very easily and we can get pissed off very easily and um, she happened to do both for me. She hurt my feelings and pissed me off at the same time. And we went back and forth for uh, a couple of days, you know, and she sent negative messages to me through a private message, and I private messaged her back and told her to, excuse my language, to kiss my ass, and she didn't know me well enough to speak to me in that manner. And I didn't really care what her opinion was anymore if she was going to be negative like that to me with her support. And that leads me to constructive criticism. I think constructive criticism is a fabulous tool for everyone to have and to use to keep other people accountable and yourself accountable. And again, I think you guys know that the type of person I am, I don't hold anything back. I tell you guys how I feel and I don't sugarcoat anything, but I'm not going to go out here and be like she did and be rude and say, you know, I'll go ahead and get back up to 300 pounds. You know, that's exactly what's going to happen because you have the attitude that you don't care. And that's how she said it. Now, she had to say it in a different tone, in a different way. I would have been nice back to her, you know, but I just couldn't see myself being nice back to her with the comments that she made publicly in Facebook. And uh, and I wasn't even going to say anything about, about it in a video or anything, but when I saw your video last night, Khalif, I was like, you know what, I'm going to say something because I want him to know that I support his opinion. It really is a fact. I support you, and I think what you're saying is right, and we don't want YouTube to be a place where it's just yes men and yes women. You know, I don't want people blowing smoke up my butt just because it looks good to do so. I want people to be honest with me, and a lot of people have been honest with me. You know, there's people who have gave me constructive criticism that I didn't particularly care for, but they didn't do it in a rude fashion like this person did. And as you can say, as you can see, I'm not saying the person's name. That's, you know, if you want to know, you probably mess with me, I'll tell you who she is. But I'm not going to blast her out on here because it's just not right. Um, even though she did it to me on Facebook. 
um, one good turn don't deserve another the kind of thing you know what I mean you yeah, know you don't you're supposed to do unto others as you do unto yourself but some people just don't do that um I think that's pretty much it you know um, y'all know who I am and what kind of person I am and hopefully y'all respect me the way I respect you I'm pretty sure that y'all do uh, but I'm going to try to make a more concerted effort to be like you said Khalif which is uh, be a good community member and not sugarcoat everything and be constructive with my criticism and make sure the person knows that I'm not there to hurt them I'm doing it in a loving manner so I appreciate the video that you made and I hope that the people who watch, you guys who watch this will understand where I'm coming from with my issue that I had this past week. Um, I can pretty much say that I have done really forgave this person, but I did block her and I did delete her, and I don't think that it's really a good thing to um, to have her on my page and me on hers because you can forgive somebody, but you won't forget and. I'm thinking that she probably wouldn't criticize me any other way but, but harshly like that without any kind of love in it because there was no love in that comment that she made uh, all the comments that she made and she um, she also sent me a you know those things you can post in Facebook uh, she posted me a little black thing a little square it said something to the effect that people um, don't like having the mirror held up to their face because it destroys their illusions and I hope she's watching. I hope she. I hope you are. There are no delusions here with me. I know what I am, and I know what my journey has been. And I'm proud of myself to have come as far as I have. Yeah, I've gained about ten or twelve pounds back in the last couple of months, but that's my issue, not yours. And if you can't be constructive with your criticism and just out to hurt my feelings, then. So be it, then we're not going to be friends. Because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> um, anyway, that's it. I hope this video wasn't too long. I wanted to get a couple points across. And maybe I might make some more on this subject. But um, it is what it is, guys. And I know I say that a lot, but it is. So thank you for listening. Rant over. Love you all. Bye.